my fellow citizens of the seventh universe, my name is Pat Player 2. If you wish to be a civic and welcome back once again to Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle here on the global version of the game. We're about to explain why it's global in a second here. But um, the reason why, oh, actually, you know what? Before this video goes out, thank you guys so much for the support of Dokkan Battle content on my channel. Um, I know, like, I keep saying that I'm not used to doing this type of stuff on my channel, but maybe if I keep doing it, I won't have to actually say that I'm not used to it because I would love to do Doki Battle stuff on the channel. So if you guys support it, you guys like it a lot, let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel too, make sure you hit the subscribe button because it really does help me out in the end. But uh, without further ado, let's just get this freaking show on the road. So today's team, we're going to be running. Well, um, first off, it is Gogeta Day. I'm going to say right now it is Gogeta Day because Gogeta came out on on Dragon Ball Fighters, so it's Gogeta Day in my eyes. And what are we going to be running? A mostly Gogeta team on Global because on Global, you can't actually run an entire Gogeta team because the str farmable strength base form Gogeta from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie is not out for Global, which makes me very upset. And the reason why we're not on Japan is because I don't have all the Gogetas, unlike I have them on here. I have all the Gogetas on Global barely got any on Japan because Japan hates me. I have Vegitos, but I don't have Gogetas. I don't freaking know. But what are we going to be running today? Well, today we're going to be talking about the man, the myth, the legend, and that is, well, that's the wrong one. Good job, Pat. You're smart. Veku! <laughs> we are running the Veku. Guys, don't remember anything about Veku? Well, the thing about Veku is he, um, he's awful. He's from a long but time ago. He is from the original Super Gogeta event. Remember how, like, in the in the original Gogeta event, there was the easy, hard, medium, and uh, easy, hard, and Z-hard or something like that? And Veku is a farmable unit in Z-hard. Like, and that was uh, the last one that takes up, like, 20 stamina to that extra grind. Veku is farmable. Veku, today's age, absolutely is not good. I mean, we can see here already when it comes to his stuff, his leader skill is actually not terrible. Like, there's still, like, you know, like, for his time, that's actually a pretty good leader skill. Physical type, HP, attack, and defense at 20%. That's not bad. Like, for something from that long ago, that's not bad at all. But now his stats. First one, we're not even going to talk about this. What is this defense stat? What is this? What is this? 388 at max? 388 defense only? Wow. It's going to be bad. If you guys want, like, you know, anything smart about that, if we go over here um, for, for Go Tanks, for normal Go Tanks, his, his defense is 5,000. His is 388. So, oh boy. <laughs> his, um, his super attack is only 100. 100% causes huge da um, damage to enemy. Nothing else. His links are pretty bad. The only one we're going to be seeing mostly today is Fuse Fighter and Kamehameha. Maybe some Saiyan Warrior race. Here and there. I don't think so. Because I don't think the Gogetas label themselves as Saiyan Warrior Lace at all. Um, but most of them are just going to be the Kamehameha and Fused Fighter. And then his passive ability is just high chance to reduce damage by 50%. That is it. That's all the man can do. I feel bad. But the team we're going to be running today is... We're going to have Veku as, uh, as our main man. Our leader is going to be LR Gogeta. We're going to have um, the EZA Go Tanks. We're going to have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The Easy A Gogeta, and then we're going to have a non Doken Awakened Super Saiyan Gogeta that eventually will turn into blue. Why is he not Doken Awakened? Well, it's because uh, I haven't gotten a chance to awaken him. But he will be awoken very soon. I promise you right now, the man will be awoken very, very soon. I need to do it for another video, so he's going to be awakened. It's just also, too, all the Elder Kai's that I would have used for this Gogeta are on my LR Super Saiyan Gohan. I know. First world problems, I know. But anyways, let's go back to the game. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Freaking good. I had to do that make sure that all um, audio is synced and everything. But let's get this show on the road. I might even get to show off what his damage and defense um, stats are currently. I'll let that off for surprise. Also, it's definitely, I know the answer already. It's because it's definitely I didn't record this already and it didn't record. So let's just freaking do this. I'm a little bit saddened about that because it was actually a really, really fun run. But um, we get to do it again. So let's see here. Gogeta, go ahead, take care of that. And then Gogeta, I mean, go tanks, go take care of that. And Gogeta, go take care of that. There we go. 2.4 mil. I still love this. That's, uh, that's freaking easy. A eh? um, Gogeta is actually i mean like look at him the man's insane the man is insane 
He's he's amazing. Like he's just, he's so good. So there we go. Already Yamcha is taken down. But there he is, guys. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Veku. We're gonna actually put him out in front because I want to see. Oh, actually, apparently you get the Gogeta. What is Gogeta's links together? If you get the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, he gets uh, it's Kamehameha, correct? Yeah, it's Kamehameha already because he's already supering attacking. So yeah, Kamehameha is already activated, and of course, Fuse Fighter with the plus two key. Remember, Kamehameha only makes um, Kamehameha only gives uh, someone. 2,500 more attacks. So literally for vacuum purposes, that's actually really good. But in the grand scheme of things, it's awful. So we are going to um, try out Veku here. Here we go. The man, the myth, the legend. Also, let's check out his stats. Right now, his defense stat is 1474. Remember, he has a high chance to reduce damage by 50%. So he might not get clobbered. But he still might get clobbered. His, his damage is only 30,000. Which everybody else on the team currently is rocking 211,000. So, you know, he's uh, he's a little bit dated. I would say he's a little bit dated. So, we're going to go ahead and pop that there. And we're going to pop that there. Veku with the 87,000 damage right into freaking Krillin's bald spot while he tanks 39,000. And you're going to say this right now, okay, guys? You're going to say this right now. 39,000. Holy crap. That's really bad because he had type disadvantage. I'm just going to let you guys know right now, that is with his stats. Um, that's with his passive active. Without the passive, he would have taken 80,000. Because my first run, he actually did take 80,000. So, uh, yeah, he that, that's uh, that's with the passive. 40,000 right there. Poor poor, poor Veku. You know, he's probably exhausted already. Like, you know, he, he tackled one guy, and he's probably, you know, freaking panting in the corner. You know, this look at that man's pot belly. Poor, poor Veku. Poor Veku. We stand him though. We, I, I appreciate, I appreciate him coming out and seeing if he would be good on a 170% team. So here we are. Now, I'm gonna actually, you know, this would be bad. I just want to see how much damage this man will take facing TN. Normally, we would never do this, but I'm just curious. I'm really curious to see how bad it is. So here we go, Veku. With oh wait, I should have I should have put him with uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. God dang it. Oh well. There we go. Here's that. And then Oh no! Oh no. The old tri beam. How much damage is it gonna be? Poor Vacu. 174,000 damage. Vacu, my man. I think that is with his passive uh, activated. Actually, I I don't think that was with his passive activated. If he has passive activated, it might have been a little bit better. Because uh, he tanked, he had 39,000 damage off of the last one, but he also had 39,000 damage off of the other one, which was type disadvantage. So I think he had, uh, that was with his passive. Wow. 174. Without the passive. So that means before he would have actually, you know, tanked a pretty decent amount. But there we go. Who's got the most defense right now? That is going to be this lovely fella. Please don't ult him because if he ults, um, my, my run already is GG. My run already is GG. Don't you dare. I just realized how low health we have. Good job, Gogeta. Freaking avoid that. Punch him in his back of his bald head into his third eye. Boom. Put that into there. And then here's some sparkles into your face cavity. And nice dodge. Nice freaking dodge. Look at this, Gogeta. I got to awaken this man. <laughs> I, he's so good with the dodges. I swear. He, and look at that. TN. Your third eye couldn't see the fact that you were about to get destroyed. And then the Gogeta LR fusion. So we have full health yet again. So Gogeta, I mean, Veku on the team actually helps us out at a certain regard. Because uh, Veku actually helps us out because we were able to get the LR. I mean, the LR Gogeta. Like, without him, that wouldn't have happened. So, uh... Thank you, Veku. See, Veku, Veku still works out. Even if he's at a little bit of a disadvantage, Veku is still a champion, and he will get exactly what you need. <laughs> he's still so bad, though. He's so, so bad. It makes me wish, though. It makes me really, really wish that they would actually update these strike cards. All right, so here we go. Here's the question. We're around the, like, you know, the 10K mark at this point, a 10-minute 10, 10 mark right now. What would you guys want to do with Veku? What would you make him? If he had a Doken Awaken, he had an easy egg, something like that, what would you make him do? My personal opinion, 
would be that Veku would be a 50% lead for fusions or movie hero category. And then he would have an easy A that would make him into a 77. What would you guys think? And the passive abilities is that he tanks things more. Uh, maybe he does like, you know, and then his super attack is that he, you know, he gains like, you know, attack. And then he does like immense damage or something like that. I don't know. We have to think about that. But yeah, so that's what I would think uh, would be good for, for Veku. But let me know in the comments below what you think would be good for Veku. Because your guys' opinions can be much different than mine. So let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? Anyways, here we go. Gogeta with the 19 damage. Heck yeah, Gogeta. I swear, this guy... He's so good. And also because right now he's my... He's a rainbow unit. So, like, he's really freaking strong right now. Um, like, he's stupidly strong. So, if you don't... If you've never grinded that unit out, you better. Because he's insane. Actually, to begin with, you don't have any Gogeta's freaking grind that out. Alright, so here we go. Um, Gotenks hasn't actually, you know, entered the field in a while. Or at least I don't feel like I've had Gotenks ult in forever. Because we've just been having Vekus and Gogetas just do all the freaking dirty work. Um, but let's see here. How much is this going to be? Like 2.4? 2.5. Nice. That, sorry, Vegeta. You're going to be, you're going to be taking that. Enjoy being a ball into concrete. Actually, I don't, that's not concrete at all. But, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah. So, Veku. What is the verdict on Veku? Do not farm him. He is useless on every team. He is useless no matter what you do to this man. This is probably the strongest that you will ever see Veku. Don't do it. His grind, the, the grind for Veku is actually insane too. Um, I actually grinded for Veku earlier this morning because I was like, oh God, please tell me you can avoid that Gogeta. You didn't avoid it. Good job. Nice 170 to the chest. Um, but... I was going to let you know, I grinded for him this morning because he was only SA3 for me. So I was like, I was, okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this, all right? We're going to do this. I have a distinct feeling we might be able to get the Doken Awakened up. So, oh, wait. I just realized, no, he's not going to be able to, oh, my God. I'm so dumb. He's not actually going to be able to ult. Unless we do that. Oh, yeah, okay. Unless we do that, which... I take that back. I guess uh, we I guess there is a way that we can make this man ult. All right, so there we go. We'll go ahead. We'll plop that for right there, please. All right, Veku, the man, the myth, the legend. He's gonna be. You're gonna be able to ult, right? You're gonna be able to do the Doken Awaken. Heck yeah, the Doken Awaken coming from Veku. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Veku, let's see how much damage you could dish out, my friend. But yeah, the grind for Veku was really, really bad. Like, it's not guaranteed drops for him. And he's just like, he's just kind of terrible. He's doing out. Oh, man. The Veku. He's broken out of 100K. There's 101K right there. Please tell me you can do some damage, Veku, to him. Come on. Woo. You got a, you got a partial bar. There's a 41 right to the chest. 42 right to the chest. I'm so proud of you. Oh, he's awful. <laughs> he's so bad. He's so bad. I'm so proud of him, though. He did get the Doken. He did get the Doken. He actually dished out. We made him go over 100. I'm so proud. All right, there we go. We'll do that, and then, you know, we'll pop that right there. And then... I... <laughs> so, yeah, like I was saying, the grind for Veku is absolutely terrible. Um, it wasn't guaranteed drops, and the drop rate for Veku is absolutely terrible, too. Because when I did the grind for him... I did it like 10 times in a row, and I didn't even get a single drop for Veku. So, it's a pretty, pretty terrible grind for him. And in the end, it's not even worth it. Like, y you do this. Well, unless you, want the unless you want the legend on your team. Like, if you want the legend, I'm not going to stop you. Because he is the legend for a reason. He is the legend 27. Like, that. like he's legend 27 because he just wolfed, he wolfed down 27 burgers before this fight happened. Like, he's a, he's the legend. If you want the legend, you could have him. But if you just want to, like, you know, run him just, to, you know, you think he's viable, he's not viable. Like, look at that. 131 damage to him. Like, you know, because we just, we did 81,000 for an ult. Like, 131 damage to Trunks. Like, that right there is terrible. But I will admit right now, Veku in the actuality of the Dragon Ball world, I bet you right now, I bet you Veku is, would still be stronger than Namek Saga Frieza. I'm going to say this right now. I think Veku would still be stronger than Namek Saga Frieza. But 
like he would only be able to do like one hit and then that's it. <laughs> he'd do one hit and then he'd just get exhausted. He, or he'd just be running around and be like, Hey guys, oh, Experian, get the heck out of there, Experian. Good, I gotta edit that out now. Thanks, Experian. Smile. <laughs> but um, yeah, I still think Beku would actually be able to do that. All right, Trunks, just, you know, do the damage. Yep, no, not, not gonna happen, it looks like. Not gonna happen. The Gogeta, he's he's avoiding. Look at all those avoids. I'm so I'm so happy for the Gogeta. I gotta awaken mine. I gotta do that because those avoid slots, those are good. Those are good avoids. All right, there we go. And back there we go. Freaking good. Freaking nice. Freaking nasty. All right. So what we're gonna do here? We'll pop that there. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. Beku, I'm sorry. You got you gotta sit out. I gotta give I gotta give Gotenks the the needed love he needs. So uh, there we go. So, I think on that note, guys, what we are going to do is probably go right ahead and end this particular video here because it's going to take us a while to go through Gohan, um, the Goku and the Gohan, especially with Deku. It's going to take a while. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this particular video here. So, I want to say thank you guys for joining once again. You guys want to see other units in this game? You guys want to see something that's absolutely ridiculous? Let me know in the comments below because, um, oh, cool. I didn't realize that those two actually link together. I mean, it doesn't... the, the the links are terrible, but, you know, that's kind of interesting. But let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see anything else because I'm totally about it. This game's fun as heck, and would love to keep doing this on the channel for you guys. But on that note, we're going to say thank you guys for once again, and we'll be seeing you <gasps> later! Ta -ta! <laughs>